Hello guys. So uh, we're going to be we're going to be talking about my co-op experience as a George Brown College student. Um, it's part of my civil engineering technology program, and uh, I'm going to tell you more about uh, what what I have done so far and how's my commute experience there, this and that. And um, if you're watching this, it's probably because uh, you're either a pre-co-op student as well. You're taking studies before you would even have a chance to like find a job or something. And um, you're all, you all you might probably be watching this because uh, you might probably be watching this because you want to know what co-op feels like. You know, like it's probably in your program that says uh, co-op option available in fifth semester, sixth semester, seventh semester, etc., etc. So yeah, uh, how did I get accepted in that in that job? somewhere in Oakville um, I don't know honestly <laughs> it just happened <laughs> so anyways um, the job that I got as a co-op student was a quantity, quantity surveyor and it, it only took me three months to be in there the name of the company was AW Hooker Quantity Surveyors and what I'm gonna tell you what the, the experience things that I'm going all of those things that I'm going to tell you it's a lot of fun honestly and it's it's a very worth it experience and it's something that you don't want to miss for the rest of your life like if you apply for it there's nothing to lose you know and yeah i'm going to tell you more about those details but first uh we're going to be sorry sorry first uh i'm going to show this to you and then we're gonna go back to that video so i'm selling a bunch of old t-shirts here they are old but um they're beautiful mm, they're used but um they're still in good condition so if you want all of these uh, just message me in the comment section below okay. so if you're wondering why i talk like this maybe it's because uh, this is my first time uh, doing some youtube video and i'm a little bit of shy the fact that i'm facing in the camera makes me shy and yeah cameras makes me shy and yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Closed on Sunday. You my Chick Fil A. What happened to the other train? Stumping. Uh, guy probably related. Thank you. Thank 
So during your first day of the job or the co-op placement, you have to undergo some computer training programs, something about customer service, AODA, etc. And then on the second day, um, they're gonna start teaching you uh, some software programs, whatever they have available. They're gonna teach you depending on the discipline or the background that you have. And uh, and uh, in a short term, you might wanna like be familiar or um, be efficient with this software program so that you may be a good help to their company. Just because you're a co-op student, don't think that you get special privileges or something. Try to work as hard as, or work as smart, or just have the same passion as your co-workers and try to at least um, make your boss or someone in charge happy. Just like, just like what some people do, when, just like what you do when you have a, a minimum wage job at Tim Hortons or McDonald's. My job as a uh, junior quantity surveyor is basically just construction estimating. However, I'm going to be reporting a lot to senior co-workers or sometimes my supervisor so that they'll check the work for me. So if you're thinking, what if I'm going to do this project all by myself? I'm not that good at estimating or something. You don't have to worry because um, your co-workers will help you. Um, just try to... Um, have all of your uh, job as correct and as accurate as you can. Um, try to ask help. Um, the ways you can ask help is number one, ask your co-workers or number two, which I really prefer, keep using Google. Uh, they have like, you're in an office and you're, you're working with internet in there, so use Google. And um, yeah, um, so yeah, just use Google, bro. Um, you don't wanna like bother your coworkers, so just keep using Google. Unless if you're asked by your senior coworkers to come to come and work with them or something. I did not really record my uh, I did not really record my office or something or the offices of my coworkers due to um, let's say a privacy issue, security issues. Even if they allow me to. Uh, Put this in the video um, I would rather not put it just to be safe you know and yeah enjoy the co-op placement and off you go so if you have nothing to do at work just because there's no projects to work on um, you might not want to just sit there and do nothing like you might want to try uh, reading some books and uh, try to take a look at past projects and see how they did it so far. Try to take a look at your mistakes, try to practice on, in my case, estimating. Try to practice more on Excel tips, on Microsoft Word tips. Try to practice more on uh, other software programs, stuff like that. Um, try to get interested in their, um, Let's say, um, in my case, a CIQS membership application. Try to um, take a look at that and, and yeah. Because my co-op placement was based on quantity surveying, I'm starting to be interested in in becoming a professional quantity surveyor. Um, my plan back then was to try becoming a civil engineer. However, um, I've been very interested in um, trying to at least do some real estate investing. I got interested in that kind of business idea since December. And um, if I were to uh, pursue a just at least professional quantity surveyor certification, then um, at least it will give me um, some kind of, uh, let's say, a nice designation when I start to do, let's say, real estate investing.
and yeah so being whatever job that whatever co-op placement that you're looking for um, whether it be a land surveyor assistant or a project manager assistant or something or or let's say a cost consultant just like mine try to take a look at their uh, certification programs in case for land surveying um, try to uh, apply for um, land surveyor membership or something there's still more honestly if you uh, if you're planning to have a co-op placement in let's say a concrete lab testing area um, try to ask their ask their co-workers uh, are you a member of let's say um, American concrete institution or something or ACI and um, try to read more about them also um, if you're looking for if you're looking for another job in the same program that you have right now let's say architectural technology program or civil engineering technology program um, I advise you to uh, create a LinkedIn account a LinkedIn account yeah and um, add more stuff in there as if it's your resume in a social media style it's like Facebook but um, Facebook for resumes yeah just just try just try applying and just try uh, just try it man just try it. just try LinkedIn yeah and that's everything uh, I hope you enjoy your co-op placement sometimes college will say if you're not accepted uh, let's say um, before example September 15 uh, you can go back to school or something and forget about a co-op placement don't worry about it that's not a discouragement uh, kind of I don't don't let it discourage you honestly um, try out some other business ideas like real estate business or um, go flipping houses or something uh, I don't know I'm just new to this kind of business idea I hope I could get into these things so if you're still not accepted in any co-op placement jobs that they offer you or that they posted in the job postings online in your school website, you don't have to worry. Keep applying outside of the school website or something. And uh, I'm sure you receive one at least. I'm gonna start reading more about these things. So far so good. My co-op experience. Um, Honestly, it taught me more than college. Don't tell anyone about that. <laughs> but it's true though. Um, yeah. Yeah. See you later, guys.